So how did one cell turn into this lizard, to this sea creature, to this bearded dragon, and finally to this thing in your house? This is the evolution of reptiles. <laughs> Back before when the iPhone was invented, back before when you were born, back before World War I, and before when the wheel was invented, was this glorious, humid, warm environment, not designed for sleeping. 350 million years ago was the Carboniferous time period home to this animal, which wasn't technically a reptile yet. This lizard and many others soon moved to land, formed into two distinct groups. The synapsids, which became mammals such as this wolf, then to your household dog, and the sauroceps, which turned into these beautiful creatures, then to these lizards, and with evolution, they became turtles, tortoises, and even birds? Now back to every child's favorite animal, dinosaurs. In the middle of the Jurassic, 225 million years ago, lizards and sauroceps soon formed into dinosaurs. During this age of dinosaurs, a mass extinction occurred during the Mesozoic era. However, the reptiles that survived, they led to the modern reptiles. Modern reptiles soon diverged into turtles 250 million years ago first, then crocodiles 220 million years ago, and finally, snakes and lizards soon came after 150 million years ago. And that is where all of our reptiles today came from. And that is the evolution of reptiles. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to like this video, share this video, and subscribe for more videos like this and aquatic related videos. Make sure to leave a comment on feedback on what I should do better next time. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.